Hello, this is Heather again from the Leaper Library at Trinity College. Today I'm going to tell you all about ePlatform, which is a wonderful resource where you can borrow ebooks and audiobooks, and there's lots of fun things to read and listen to there. So ebooks are like print books, but you can read them on your computer or on a device like a phone or a tablet. And audiobooks are books that have been read out and you can listen to them. And they're great because you can listen to a book anytime, anywhere. You might be going for a walk or you might be having to go on a long car trip. So our e-platform is accessible from the library homepage. If we scroll down, here it is over here. We click on e-platform. And it says Trinity College, the University of Melbourne, Victoria. Access our e-library anywhere, anytime on multiple devices. So what you will find here are little collections of books and e-books. You can tell if they're audiobooks because they will have the little headphone symbol on them. We've got them organised into collections. Here's a collection of romantic stories. If that's interesting to you, you can view more. See what other stories are in that collection. If something looks interesting to you, you can click on it. Once you've found a book that you'd like to borrow, you need to sign in so that you can borrow it. So we just collect sign in here. And this takes us to the Trinity College sign in page. And here you need to use your Trinity email address and password. All right, once you've signed in, you can select to borrow. And it says that the loan duration is two weeks. And you can start reading straight away if you want to, or you can look at your other loans. Well, I've only got this one on loan. Um, you'll see that the loan expires in 13 days. Let's begin reading. Now on the computer, you can just simply navigate through using the arrows. You can also find your way through with the chapter headings. These are all linked. Now, one thing I would like to point out is that there are a lot of different options for how the text and the, uh, the screen actually looks. So some things that you can choose, choose is to change the size of the text. So hitting the plus sign will make it bigger. You can choose a different font. For some people, some people prefer things in a different font. Some people find it makes it easier for them. You can uh, choose whether to have a background that's not quite so bright, or you can choose from a whole range of different colors. You can go to night reading, which gives you the black background and the gray text. And you can also select to change various things like the letter spacing and word spacing. I'm going to go back to the default, which is what it started at. But that's something that is worth playing around with, especially if you've got any kind of vision issues or anything like that. All right, well, we'll leave that here. I want to talk now about a particular collection that we have on ePlatform. That's our Oxford Bookworms collection here. You'll find that close to the top. These books have been specially put in the collection for Foundation Studies students. Um, they are mostly classic works of and famous works of English literature that have been rewritten to be easier to read and to understand for people who are learning to read and speak in English. And the great thing about these books is that most of them are ebooks and audiobooks combined. Most things on ePlatform are either an ebook or an audiobook, but with, a, with the uh, Oxford Bookworms, 
you get the text and the spoken word together. And that can be a great way to help you to consolidate the new words that you learn. You can see them written down and hear them spoken. Let's um, have a look at one of the books. Let's choose a nice horse story about Black Beauty. When it opens up, I'm going to borrow this one. Now, because I was signed in earlier, it's kept me signed in. I don't actually have to type my email address in again. Uh-oh, I've reached the maximum of two concurrent nodes. I'm going to have loans. I'm going to have to return something first. That's okay. I can do that. Um, all right, I'll return that one. And now I'll go back to where I was. And now I can borrow this one. So let's begin reading. Now we have to get through the first few pages. Yes, we need to get through the first few pages to the first chapter. And you'll see here that there is a little built-in audio player as well as the text. Chapter 1 My First Home The first place I can remember well was a pleasant field with a pond of clear water in it. Trees made shadows over the pond and water plants grew at the deep end. All right, I'll pause that there. But you can see that you can read the book and listen to it at the same time. Or you could do one or the other. All right, let's have a look at how easy it is to install the ePlatform app onto your iPad or iPhone from the Apple, Ice, um, Apple App Store. If you have an Android device, you'll need, of course, to go to the Google Play Store, but I'm quite sure the process is very similar. So we select the App Store. We go to Search. And search for ePlatform. Up pops ePlatform by Wheelers. That is what we're looking for. Here it is. Now, normally it would say Get because it's a free app. I've got it downloading, ready to download because I already have it on my phone. And once it's downloaded, you can open it up and find your library. So we search for Trinity College, the University of Melbourne. We don't have to type the whole thing in. There it is. We'll select that. Now here we are on the Trinity College University of Melbourne e-platform and you can start browsing and searching for all our e-books and audio books and borrowing from there. Let's have a look at what it's like to read an e-book on your iPad. Here's the two books that I've got on loan at the moment. I'm going to have a little look at this one. Okay, it tells me here, tap the middle of the screen once to show and hide menus. Okay, that's good to know. All right, we'll get past the various chapters and here we are into the first page. Looks very similar to the computer really. I'm gonna tap the middle of the page. And this is where we get our options to change the text size and so on. Um, change it over to night reading, make the text a bit bigger and so on. Now it's worth knowing that if you make some say, uh, changes on the computer in your account, those same changes are going to be reflected in the iPad as well. I've finished looking at these. Just tap it again and we can continue reading. And we just swipe to get to the next, next page. Okay, so that's what it looks like to read on an iPad. Okay, so I'm back on the computer now to just finish up with a few few more things to know about ePlatform. 
As we saw just before, you can return a book at any time, but if you just leave it, it will expire after two weeks or 13 days from when you start, and it will automatically be returned from your device. You don't actually have to do anything. But if you've finished with a book, you can always return it early so that you can borrow another one because you are only able to borrow two things at a time on ePlatform. Um, if you happen to find that there's something you'd like to borrow and it's not available because it's already out, and I'll just give you a quick tip of how you can tell that. Um, if something is greyed out, I think we something is greyed out then we know that it's actually on loan to somebody else here we are here's some here these are some new um, newly released books so if you happen to come across something that's already on loan it says here no copies available you can actually reserve the item and it will tell you roughly when it's expected and that's when the person who's got it is due to return it or if there's more than one reserve how far down the queue you are it'll give you a rough idea of when you might get it get to borrow it so if you click on reserve and it says it'll send you an email notification should the title become available sooner than expected and of course if you wanted to use a different email address for that update you can do so there um, so that's basically all I wanted to say about ePlatform. I do hope you'll um, download the app onto your device or use it on your computer. Um, there's a lot of great books there. The collection is very much targeted at young adults, at people who are, you know, teenagers and a little bit older. So there's lots of really interesting uh, and fun stories in there. And reading, any kind of reading that you can do in English is going to help you with your studies in English. There's absolutely no doubt about that. If you have any problems at all using ePlatform, just go to the Leaper Library for Students team where you can ask your questions or you can email library at trinity.unimel.edu.au. Good luck with your reading.